collection offers what type of services for events? Uh, well, we offer uh, high-end furnishings for social and corporate events. We work a lot with brides. They're our favorites. Um, it's a very personal uh, purchase for the bride yeah. for her wedding. It's almost like the dress. Mm -hmm. They come in, they look at all the pretty fabrics, the finishes. Um, they love accenting with pillows. So that lounge grouping at their wedding offers their personal style, nice. you know, one component. Nice. Yes. And I know that you have a wonderful inventory of furniture. Do you also offer custom design? We do. We just this year added a custom builder. We have a department in the back, our woodworking shop, and we are building um, new tables to our customer yes. specifications. Um, and it's proven already to be warranted because everybody is calling and they have a certain look in mind for a certain style and that's what we're able to fulfill. This pillow collection is <laughs> amazing. Yeah, thank you. We love it. How, how do you start and stop? I mean, do you, are you constantly buying pillows? We are constantly buying pillows. Just when we thought we had enough Navy mm -hmm. pillows, we all have that corporate event yes. with, you know, turquoise. 25 sofas <laughs> that need turquoise pillows. And it's really fun to do. We, we love it. We source them from all over and you know like I said they really change up the look of a sofa they give us a lot of mileage the texture yeah. I mean beading velvet yeah, yeah. feather glam Everything. all the glitz pillows I mean people just love these and we've got them really glitzy and then we have them really subdued mm. you know very simple it sounds like you really try to get to know a little bit about your client, their yes. style, their personality. Exactly. It's more than just putting together a couch and some tables, but really Definitely. reflecting their style. Can you tell me a little bit about that process and how you kind of bring that together? Yes. So we always encourage the client to come in with their planner or their designer. Um, sometimes people will have called and they want the catalog and they want to pick it out from the catalog mm -hmm. and I'm like, oh no, <laughs> can't do that because, you know, it's pretty in the book, but when you're here, you really get to see the size and the scale and wood, you know, dark wood legs and yes. natural wood legs and people are not paying attention to all of that when they select from a catalog. Now, what is the name of this sofa? Um, this is our Chesterfield. It's a classic Chesterfield, very residential style sofa. And can you tell us a little bit about the pillows and how you changed the look of this classic sofa? So this has been a great seller for us. Um, we have quite a few. We can change this look up continuously. This classic black and white pattern on pattern gives you a really sharp, crisp look. Again, we've got a mirrored silver table that gives the shine, makes it glam feel glamorous, yes. along with the um, rug. And then the gray chairs are wonderful. Um, they're very neutral with a, a nail head detail, kind of pulls it all together. Yeah. So do you have a favorite type of event that you like to work on? I don't, I don't think I do anymore. I, I, I think I just get a lot of gratification whatever the client style is and we've made it come you know mm. we've made it happen for them um, there's so much gratification in that I love mid-century modern Atlanta's been a little behind in getting <laughs> it you know finally Target started selling yes. it so I'm like yes <laughs> we, we do need mid-century uh -huh. and we have invested in that a lot this year now I don't think that is for every bride mm -hmm. but there have been quite a few we have a lot of venues in the city that um, warrant that look. Yes. So we are selling to like the Pont City markets yes. and you know the urban, the little bit more um, hipster look, if yeah. you will. So <laughs> it's it's here to stay, and I, it is one of my favorite looks. Can you tell us a little bit about the style of furniture in this vignette? Yes. So we would uh, kind of technically call this a country French look. Uh, this is one of our newer pieces. It's a little bit more of a spin than what you've been seeing in Country French. We love it. We love the detailing. Yes. We love the color. Believe it or not, this is considered celery, and it's very neutral, <laughs> as you can see when right. you put this all together. Um, but we've added our Bernadette chairs, which are a little bit more rustic. Mm -hmm. um, when we do a grouping, we try to, you know, depending on what the client wants, but this look here is very refined. 
um, it's a little bit of refined rustic and then this elegant uh, country French. With every grouping, we like to put something shiny with it. So we have the mirrored top tables over here with the um, brushed gold legs. Beautiful. Really pretty. You can get too rustic and it just looks dull and flat. So we like to add the shine to it. And so what we're gonna talk about is some of the things that we need to do with the pillows, correct? Yes, yeah, so I'd love to see how you can enhance the look of the lounge with your pillow collection. Okay. Your expansive pillow yes, collection. <laughs> yes, so we love our pillows. Um, this is just something very simple that right. looks great. People, it, it, that is another taste thing. And you know, girls will come in here, the brides will come in here, and they want to have a ton of pillows. Sometimes when the furniture is so pretty, um, and elegant like this piece. I don't like to overdo it. it. I'm like the sofa itself is so nice mm -hmm. You can you know overdo with pillows. Yeah, so this adds a whole different feel when you add this textured pillow um, It it just kind of dresses it down a little bit. It feels more natural. It looks like something you could see outside with tropical greens and that kind of thing around it um, Very very simply done then if someone really wants to get yes. crazy and do a real statement which i'm loving these palm pillows <laughs> you can add all of this let's let's do the other one we have so many to choose from but you could just load this up and these palm pillows are the rage let's put this in mm -hmm. front so this right here kind of gives you um, a whole nother feel, a whole different feel, kind of like Hemingway kind mm -hmm. of feel, which is really popular and changes up the whole look. Yeah, do it the tweaking. We tweak <laughs> all the time. So um, that's how you can change up a look. And for a long time, as we've grown our business and our inventory, we have relied a lot on our pillows. Yes. Uh, we were not into buying color furniture because you couldn't do a lot with color furniture, mm -hmm. just one or two events. So we did a lot of oatmeal and creams and ivories, and then we popped all the pillows in with color. So um, this is how you can make it exciting and give you a statement piece for your event. So in all of the projects that you've done, that you have done, do you have a favorite? I know you don't have a favorite type of event, but has there been like one project that you really just got to work to your capacity or work outside the box? Well, I think right now one of the, the events that is my favorite, and this goes to corporate, which I haven't really talked mm -hmm. about any, um, corporate uh, companies are coming to the city and they are not just setting up theater style ballroom chairs mm -hmm. in a hotel ballroom uh, for their general sessions. Now we are doing sofas and club chairs for a hundred or more people. Wow for a week long event. And it, it does not all match, but the what I enjoy about it is I get to put all these pieces together yes. and it comes together. And then they have this audience for a week that is sitting and listening to rebranding or launching a brand and they're comfortable. And mm -hmm. they're really getting a lot out of their attendees because they're in a comfortable situ a s setting. Yeah. So that is, that's kind of fun right now. And you know, I love doing that. Creating that ambiance, that setting for yeah. them to really enjoy. Yeah, experience. it's kind of like, like a think tank. You know, yeah. I think the attendee is more relaxed in that environment and they are listening or they are engaging more with what they're supposed to be doing in that moment in that nice setting. So who knew yes. you know, that this would <laughs> go into corporate like it has. Right, right. Um, this is our Audrey sofa and we, you know, we invested in some color and people it's love gorgeous. this. I wish I had purchased 12 of these sofas because <laughs> everybody wants them. Yes. And then we added um, our Sinatra chair, which is clearly mid-century here. Um, and it's a very statement piece type of chair. Uh, this look, um, we brought in the color with the rug. It's very saturated color between the sofa and the rug. We also have the iconic lamp of the 60s and 70s. And some, again, something that has a little bit sh of shine to it, but it's, it's a little duller. It's more right. of a um, brush gold. So um, this look can also go boho chic. Okay. Again, I'm going to throw some pillows in here to show you how we can turn that around just with color. Perfect. Oops. 
<laughs> Love this pattern. Yes. <laughs> some pattern, some texture, color, a little, little glam, a little boho with the shine there. And then this just ties in really well with the rug and completes the look. And we are doing more rugs, uh, aerial rugs and lamps, because as you look at this, you can see how it finishes and completes right. the look. Right. If you put furniture at your event, you need to define it somehow. Right. And all these things bring it together and define it, makes a statement. So when you're thinking of, you know, what's to come in event furnishings, is there anything that you look forward to doing or that you would like to do? You know, in Atlanta, we've sort of had a specific market yeah. and has expanded and grown over the years, but what do you see in the forefront of event furnishing? Okay, so um, the Country French, the restoration hardware yes. look has been really big. It's not gonna go away. It's kind of like a staple. People are always gonna love it, especially people in the South. Um, Mid-century has made its way. We're, we're looking for a lot of that, but what I'm seeing on the West Coast and other areas is like this elevated glamour look, mm. like our Simone yes. sofa. Um, <laughs> the fabrics, yes. the lines. Yes, kind of like a, a Hollywood um, 1940s. Regency. Regency, mm -hmm. and, but not real themey looking. Right. Like there's a lot of furniture out there that is just overdone. Mm -hmm. It's still bringing that residential feeling mm. into that glamour Hollywood 40s Regency look. So that's what we are anticipating. That's what we are buying right now for. It's definitely one of my favorites. <laughs> yes, and I think there's. I think that's happening because there's been this casual chic look with the right. country French. Now you know it's going the other way. People want to get back to the glamorous, to mm -hmm. the, you know, just that really that sparkly glamour look. Yeah. So that's nice. what I'm seeing. <laughs>